Hey YouTube, it's Mitch at iPhone Captain. Today we're going to be trying to teach you how to update the wallpaper, uh, weather, things of that nature on the lock screen. You know, when you download a lock screen, a lot of times this weather uh, temperature is wrong, it's incorrect. And that's what I'm referring to, how to change the city. And then you can also update the weather, it will update the weather. Uh, you can change the Celsius to Fahrenheit. Uh, you can also change over here. You can put in a actual RSS feed right here of any of anybody's you want. Uh, this is on the Peakley. I'm using for an example, but it works on all of them pretty much the same way. And we're actually going to be using iFile, and hopefully you know what that is. Uh, iFile is actually this icon up here at the top left hand side of the screen and let's go ahead and open it up and when you get inside iFile you want to go all the way back as far as you can go up here at the top just keep hitting the back key till you get all the way back to that little slash right there or the root it's called that's as far back as you can go and when you get there, you want to go, you want to tap VAR at the bottom. Then you're going to scroll down and, t and tap STASH stash. Now we're looking for themes down here at the bottom. Now what I like to do right here so I don't get confused when I come back is I open up the bookmarks. Go ahead and create one. Hit plus in the bottom right side. Name it whatever you want to name it up here at the top. And simply just hit create and it'll add it right there and from now on when you want to come in here you'll automatically be able to open up back from where you was at the stash at the beginning here you can change ringtones wallpapers themes uh, you can you do about everything from this one particular location so let's go into themes the one we're going to be updating is Peakley and we're going to be looking at for the .js file settings.js this is where you will always open this file to update whatever it is you're wanting to update and we're going to open in the text viewer and if you'll just read the directions it will tell you exactly what to do and if you look closely right here you see 40744 uh, first you need to tap the edit button in the top left corner and it'll open it'll open it up for you and like that and now let's go back up here and you see where it says 40744 I'm gonna go ahead and highlight that all right that right there that's where you're going to enter your zip code that five digits is your zip code and right down below there if you want it to be in Celsius you need to change that false to true if you want Fahrenheit you need to type false there if it has true you need to take the false out and put true there for Celsius it tells you which is which it says change this to false for Fahrenheit so I guess they're using FF okay so that'll get you your zip code which will change your weather and your Fahrenheit and if you want to go on down here and change the clock from a 24 hour clock to a uh, uh, 12 hour, you can do that down here as well. Right here, you need to change the far. 12 hour is true, 24 hour is false. So, whichever way you want that. And you can also change the format of the date, day, month, and date. If you'd rather have day, date, and month, it's up to you. You simply have to type it the order you want it right there. All that stuff is changed inside here. And when you finish, you simply just tap done. Go back out, respring, and you're finished. Now, if you want to change something on a different theme, it works the same way. You just go in here to iFile, pull open your themes, scroll down. Let's say we're wanting to change the Lyra, LS Lyra theme, and we're going to go in here to Weather. Well, actually, that one don't have the actual... Uh, it doesn't work like the other one did. Scratch that thought. 
Uh, I thought you could you could change that one the same way, but it doesn't work that way. You need to go in here to the read me and, and read what it tells you to do in here for these requirements. Uh, change it tells you how to do it if you go in here and do it. It works pretty much the same way. You're still changing zip codes. You're just going to do it in a different location. It check, you're going to open lock background.html. Okay, right here. You're going to open lock background .html like that. And all that same information is right inside here. You see your var locale, 40744, your Celsius is false, uh, wallpapers, lock screens, all that's right there, guys. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, don't forget, guys, if you like these kind of videos, you want to stay up, the, up to date with your iOS device, everything that's hot in Cydia and in the iTunes App Store, hit that subscribe button before you leave. Post this on Facebook and Twitter and tell all your friends out there that the iPhone captain is coming to town. Thanks for watching and keep coming back.